Hello, welcome to Morning Prayer for Friday the 4th of September 2020. For Morning Prayer we follow the order of service in the Church of England's Common Worship Daily Prayer, except we substitute hymns for the canticles. For this service you will need uh, your own copy of the Bible so that you can read the Bible readings yourself and the video remote if you're watching on video so that you can pause the video to give yourself the leisure to do that. The purpose of the service is that each of us can meet with God personally through his word. Let's begin by asking him into our hearts and onto our lips. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The opening canticle on a Friday is Venite, that's to say Psalm 95. Here's a sum version, O come let us sing out to the Lord. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm set for today is Psalm 139, O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. Uh, here's a sung version of it as a hymn. Lord, you have searched my inmost heart, known me through all my days. to action it brought you Lord knew all my ways knowing what moves my soul to song also what brings my tears you know what tempts and leads me to wrong where I am weak and when I am strong all of my hopes are Behind before, pull me in your embrace. To wonderful is knowledge so sure, so understanding, yet still so pure, more than my mind can face. 
Where could I hide away from you? Where could I ever flee? High in the heavens your vision is true. Deep to the depths you penetrate to. Further than widest sea. Even in pits of night time gloom, my ways are in your sight. You formed my flesh and bones in the womb. You watched my paths from cradle to tomb, turning my dark to light. Lord, when my life seems torn apart, help me to trust you still. Search me, O oh God, expose all my heart. Cleanse me from errant, unworthy thought. Keep me within your will. And you might like to pause the video in order that you can reflect on the words of the psalm as in the Bible. Today's Old Testament reading is 2 Samuel chapter 16, uh, the first part, verses 1 to 14, uh, and it continues with David fleeing from Jerusalem and some of the things that happened uh, on the way. Please pause the video and read it for yourself in the Bible. If you wish, there is a canticle that's set for use as a response to the Old Testament reading. It's from Hosea, chapter 6, verses 1 to 6. Come, let us return to the Lord. The New Testament reading uh, is taken from Acts, chapter 10, the first 16 verses. Uh, it's Peter's vision in Joppa uh, before he goes to the house of Cornelius. Please would you pause the, the video and read that in your own Bible. And the set canticle for responding to the New Testament reading uh, is Benedictus. Uh, so here's a metrical version of that set to a well-known hymn tune, Bless the God of Israel. Bless the God of Israel who visits us and frees us, rescues us from death and hell, and sends a Saviour Jesus, and sends a Saviour Jesus. Through his prophets long ago he promised he would save us from the hands of every foe who'd otherwise as he said to Abraham, he'd give us liberation. Now we praise the great I am in holy adoration. Born for us in David's line, this Jesus is our Saviour, bringing us God's love divine and knowledge of his favour. You, my child, will I prepare his way before him, telling of the Lord most high, so people may adore him. Then may earthly warfare cease, and dawn break through from heaven, guide our footsteps into peace, and sin shall be forgiven. Glory to the Father, Son, and Spirit, all to
So let's turn to prayer. Let's ask God to speak to us through his word and apply it to our hearts. And let's put before him the things that are on our, that are on our own hearts. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can come before you any time we want, that your ears are always open to our cries, that you are far, far more ready to hear us than we are to turn to you. Motivate us each morning that we may want to enter into your presence and come so with rejoicing in your great goodness. Father, we give you our thanks that you know every detail about us. As the psalm says, when we sit, when we rise, uh, our thoughts before they are on our mind, uh, our words before they are on our lips. Thank you that such knowledge is for our benefit rather than for our harm. Thank you that you take your loving eyes and fix them firmly on us. Help us to be filled with confidence in your ministry to us that we may turn back to you all our days whenever we are in trouble through jesus christ our lord amen father when the bottom drops out of our world uh, as it did out of david's with absalom's rebellion we pray that you would give us realism about ourselves and as david tried to deal with the different factions which came before him and the different people claiming this and that. Give us, we pray also, the discernment to know what it is that you are saying to us in times of difficulty, in order that we may recover, find your will, and be restored by your great faithfulness to us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Father, we pray that you would open our eyes that we may see your direction to us. We do not expect to get a big Bible-changing vision like Peter's, but we ask you that you would be, make us always alert to the fact that you may have new things in store for us. And when we hear your message, help us to find proper ways of assessing it so that we may discern your will in our own lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please pause and put into words some of the things that are on your own heart uh, as you pause the video. The special prayer for this week. Almighty and everlasting God, you were always more ready to hear than we to pray. And to give more than either we desire or deserve. Pour down upon us the abundance of your mercy, forgiving us those things of which our conscience is afraid, and giving us those good things which we are not worthy to ask, save through the merits and mediation of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And please join me in the Lord's Prayer as Jesus taught his first disciples. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever amen May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so may the Lord open our eyes to his goodness this morning and keep us close to him in our walk today. <laughs> 